Hi, I'm Kelly Cartwright and I'm here for Tobin Brothers Say It Now Week. I'm here to say it now to someone who means the world to me. Let's meet him. After the London Paralympic Games, I honestly thought that I'd be competing for Australia for the rest of my life. Um, things went downhill a little bit with injury, so I found myself on the sidelines and in the gym most of the time, um, not being able to run on the athletics track and sort of wondering where my life was going and I met my partner who I've been with now for nearly five years, Ryan, he's a firefighter and he's into everything I'm into, sport, outdoors. Uh, Kel's an amazing person, like she's overcome a lot more hurdles than the average person and the average sports person and uh, she's now got a family, um, she's another great achievement and she still managed to push through. When I was 15 years old, I was diagnosed with a rare form of cancer inside my knee. Um, I grew up in a, a sporty family, a family that loved getting down to the football netball club on the weekends and my dream as a young girl was to play netball for Australia but unfortunately when they found the cancer inside my knee I had two choices and that was to have radical surgery to try and remove the cancer or amputate my leg four inches above my knee. Being a 15 year old girl and getting faced with that decision was obviously a shock. My world turned upside down within an instant. Uh, and I remember looking at the doctor that day, had my mum and dad beside me, and I remember telling him that I would rather die than have my leg amputated because I didn't know what my life was going to be like. I'd never met anybody with a disability, let alone one leg, and I was so scared. But after realising that I was diagnosed with cancer, but I could potentially be cancer free, but lose my leg, it changed my mind completely. Um, I researched a lot about the cancer, I researched a lot about survivors and realised that if the cancer hadn't spread and it was just inside my knee, then my best chance of living a full life um, would be to have my leg amputated and I made that decision. And uh, My leg was off within a week of being diagnosed, it all happened really quickly so I didn't get a chance to meet anybody that had gone through the same situation as me. Um, my friends and family, they were by my side every step of the way. I couldn't have asked for a better support group, but for me, I wanted to get back to my life. I wanted to get back to all my goals and my dreams that I had set before I lost my leg. I didn't really think that my leg changed who I was. It changed my appearance. It changed me physically, but mentally I was still the same person. But I really wanted to get back to sport. I really wanted to get back to that competitive nature that I grew up with. So I actually went along to a um, come and have a go day and I met there some most amazing athletes in the world. Some people with no arms, no legs, vision impaired, wheelchair athletes, um, wearing the green and gold competing for Australia and that's when I thought I want to be a Paralympian. I want to be a Paralympian and travel the world and it wasn't as easy as that obviously. I needed to get a specially designed running leg. I was on a walking leg at that time and it really didn't do well um, in a gym or on the track. So I was lucky to raise some money for my first running leg um, in my Geelong community and aimed for the 2012 London Paralympic Games and, and I went along and came home with a, a gold and silver medal and uh, my family were there and, and it was just the biggest support and it was honestly the most amazing, amazing time of my life. I was just talking about how much you were there to support me back to my journey to sport and also hold the fort when I get to travel the world with our three-year-old and how much work that is and, and, and I appreciate it so much. I just remember back in uh, the Commonwealth Games and me and Max got to see you uh, compete and he was sitting there on my lap just cheering, cheering away at you and waving the flag, it was, it was a great experience. I just want to say it now that I appreciate all the support that you give myself, Max and our little girl, it really means the world to me. Right now.